I, I really like this one. Um, it's pretty warm, you know, good, get, um, good amount of grit, or, you know, you could dial it back a good amount and still get, get some good flavor in there. So it's really just depending on what you like, you know, but I, I prefer overdrive to distortion in general. Um, even though I do play rock on various forms, progressive and all that stuff, and, um, I'm just a warmer bass type of guy in general, you know. Let's see, let's get a nice little distortion in here. Let's go with this bass metal, which is that that, that pedal. Um, I think is that boss. It might be a boss pedal. I can't remember who it's made by, but it's it's like black and it's got like orange writing on it. Pretty cool old school. Uh, let's put this on 69, 70. Should bring it there. Let's start there. And so one one tip that um, for you guys when using overdrive or distortion or just effects like that in general, um, or even even um, octavers and things like that, sometimes a noise gate helps. Um, these are the noise gate settings I'm using. Does that's what the Z R Z and R is on here? It's just a noise gate. Um, so without it, you get all that, just extra sounds from the pedal, but a lot less, you know, you could turn it all the way up and it wouldn't, you know, it'd be even less, so... So, nice distorted sound there. Then we got, so those are more like the pedal type um, effects. They're going to basically be just the overdrive and distortion effect. Um, usually not too, it, some of them have EQs with them. Well, some of them have tone knobs, things like that. But um, for the most part, with something like that, the, one of the most important features, if you're going to buy them separately, um, and it's not like an amp-type distortion, um, that's what the, I would consider like the SGT, more of like an amp-type amp distortion. Um, then, oh, I mean, overdrive. I keep saying distortion. Overdrive. Um, because those are pretty much emulating overdriven amps, right? So um, I would consider um, any any overdrive or distortion bass pedal that doesn't have a blend knob is now is like is not really doable for me. I really don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. Um, I need if you don't have a blend, I can't uh, make sure I have my low end the way I, nice and clean and tight and the way I want it to come through versus if I have to, you know, if you just have distortion or if you even, you know, I would even recommend going with more bass-oriented overdrives or distortions 
just because one of these days they have plenty of them. Ain't like back in the day where you had to go through the guitar pedals to try out effects and stuff like that. Not really. These days you got plenty of options, right? So this would be an example of, let me see. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. I want to go. Give you guys an example. So, so this is like a guitar effect um, or overdrive or distortion that's meant for guitars is definitely going to have less body to it. So I'm going to just flip through a few on the MS, um, MS50G, which is a guitar pedal. So those are more for guitar. Yeah, they sound okay. And you could EQ those afterwards or add a, a preamp after that and beef it up. But um, let's just flip through some of the distortions on, on overdrives on actual bass. Something that meant for bass. <laughs> 